Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. Today I have another Simon Says Stamp limited edition kit video to share with you. This time the Simon Says Stamp 2022 limited edition gift card kit. We're going to be creating some glitz and glamour type projects with a large round shaker tag and also a card today that features a gift card holder. I'm first going to walk you through the components in the kit in real time with the Thermoweb Pixie Dots some iron gate mica stain, one of my favorite colors, some silver embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp, some Tim Holtz Ideology wreath ornaments, or adornments, I guess I should say, a whole bunch of gift card sized little mini envelopes, pockets, and inserts in reds, vellums, whites, and whites, pardon me, an awesome new stencil set. This is a four by four bobbles stencil set of four. We're gonna be using these on our card. Really, really cute. Lots of fun ways to use these. Some beautiful ribbon. This silver ribbon is so, so pretty. This is the May Art Silver Glitter Ribbon. I'm gonna be using this on my large round ornament. A fantastic six by eight stamp set. This is the Holiday Gift Giving Stamp Set. So cute, full of adorable images, layering images, and also sentiments. This beautiful paper rose silver bells collection paper and that wreath just immediately grabbed my attention as did these first two pattern papers. I like pretty simplistic pattern paper for the most part, but it's all absolutely stunning. Just look at that, you guys, it's so pretty. Some silver and gold Simon Says Stamp glitter card stock. This amazing new giant gift bow die from Simon, and I'm going to be using that for both projects. Some silver and gold matte metallic cardstock, some white Nina cardstock, and some fog gray cardstock. So I did want to show you, last year I did this shaker round ornament. Um, this was with the tag kit from 2021, and it is going to be the inspiration piece for the first project I'm gonna share with you today. I will tag to that video at the end of this one in case you wanna check that out, but I feel like this wreath design from the pattern paper is perfectly proportioned to create another one of those giant gift tags. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some things I'm gonna need, um, starting with some white card stock from the kit and the giant gift bow. And I'm going to cut my white cardstock in half. I'm also gonna snip my bow apart or at least anything that's overlapping like this little center piece. I'm gonna use my wire snips to do that. And the reason I need my bow and I need the white cardstock, you could do this one of two ways. If you caught my five Day, five ways and five days video at Simon Says Stamp with the mica stains. We're going to be using that technique for our card or for the bow. And I am going to color the white card stock with the Iron Gate mica stain. And then once it's dry, I'm going to die cut it into that bow shape for the shimmery bow. And I'm gonna layer it with the metallic silver or the matte silver, and you're gonna see how beautiful those work together. So taking half of the card stock, I'm gonna spritz it with the Iron Gate spray. Now you definitely could just die cut it first and then spritz the pieces, but I found that this worked really well. Plus I'll have some extra card stock left over to die cut other shapes later on. So using a splatter box, I'm just going to do a nice coating of the Iron Gate and I'm gonna set this aside to dry while I work on some other parts of the card. Next, I'm gonna take some of these thin frame circle dies from Simon Says Stamp, and I am going to line them up around the wreath design on the pattern paper, 
and this is going to be a pretty wide wreath. I'm letting the paper pattern paper dictate how I'm die cutting it. I don't need to worry about the bow because I will replace the bow with the die cut bow, but we're going to use a little bit smaller there to, to kind of keep the wreath intact as much as possible. And with these thin frames, it does mean that I'm going to be die cutting a little teeny tiny thin frame. The outer one doesn't matter so much. The inner one, I'm going to die cut the contrasting color from the metallic cardstock, and we're going to do a little inlay design, and I'll show you that here in a second. I'm going to use the big frame to die cut a silver, or part, not silver, a fog gray cardstock backer for the back of my tag. And here's that little thin frame. I'm going to discard that, but I want to keep the inside piece and the outer frame. So I want to keep those two pieces, but the little teeny tiny thin frame I can go ahead and throw away. And then I'm going to take that same smaller die and some of the silver cardstock in the kit, and I'm going to run that through. I'm also going to die cut the bow from the silver cardstock because we're going to be combining the mica stain bow with the silver bow. So it kind of looks like a two sided ribbon and we're gonna keep the little teeny tiny thin frame from this piece. However, that inside silver piece I'm going to use to die cut some other components for this tag here in a little bit. So let me zoom in just a little bit closer so it's a little easier to see. We've got our outer frame, inner piece, and the little teeny tiny silver frame. We also need an acetate piece to go back behind the window and the large circle that I mentioned a little bit ago. So I used a little bit larger sized circle than the small one we used for the opening and for the thin frame to die cut an acetate backer, but I'm going to set that aside and I am going to first secure my wreath piece, the inside of the wreath piece rather, to the backer of my tag. I'm gonna make this a shaker, so I need to attach that little inside piece because I still want some of those little touches of the branches to show. So I'm just gluing that down to the back using the frames that are gonna be on the front of the shaker as a guide. Then I'm gonna put some adhesive around the back of the large frame, and I didn't need a piece of acetate that large. I just cut one enough to fit back behind and I'm going to glue that in place. And then we're going to run a thin bead of glue around the edge. And that's where we're going to add that silver inlay frame. And this just sets off the design beautifully. From the rest of the fog gray cardstock, I'm going to use the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Labels dies to die cut some thin little strips that I can then create my own thin gift tags with. These are going to be the decorative gift tags that hang from the top of this, what's going to be an ornament. So it's kind of a, a large piece that could be a gift all on its own. I like all the little different layers on it. Then in the sentiment labels dies, I hardly ever use these, but they do come in super handy. Um, they are the little notches where you can create notched ends for tags. So on one end of this thin little strip, I am going to tape down the notch and run it through the die cutting machine. And I am going to do this twice. We're going to create two of these long skinny tags. How awesome are, is this Sentiment Labels die set, you guys? Still my favorite. Even years after it's been released, it's still my favorite. And then we're gonna do this one more time, and then we're going to take a couple of sentiments from the Holiday Gift Giving 6x8 clear stamp set, and we are gonna customize these strips with some little phrases just to kind of dress it up a little and I want them to be the same length so I will be kind of figuring that out in a minute but let's just go ahead and leave them long while I stamp them and then I can figure it out. 
So I am going to place the strip in my Misty, take a sentiment strip from that holiday gift giving stamp set. I'm using a little holiday treat from your favorite elf, which might be my favorite little sentiment of the season. I could see using this on everything. And then I will also be stamping just for you. I'm stamping those with clear embossing ink and then heat embossing with the silver embossing powder included in the kit. I already have some silver Simon Says Stamp embossing powder, but I can always use more. Um, some of my very favorite and most often used embossing powders are the Simon Says Stamp White, Antique Gold, and Silver. So super excited to get a little bit more to refill my container. The silver embossing definitely coordinates back to that glitz and glamour theme. So you can kind of see my thought process with the long skinny tag. Let's go ahead and take the Just For You sentiment and we're going to stamp another long skinny tag. I did find in my Misty that they stamped a little bit better um, in the middle of my Misty, unfortunately, instead of on the edge, but it all worked out. Because I want these to be exactly the same length instead of two different lengths, I'm going to place the first one right next to it so that I can kind of gauge and place just for you in the center. On either end of this sentiment, I will be adorning it with some little snowflakes for added interest. And again, just going to ink that up with clear embossing ink. Heat emboss with silver embossing powder. And then we can go back and take our sentiment labels die and we can trim these to the same length. So I'm just going to grab my die and then I'm going to flip it around. You could also just cut them down. Um, you don't have to use the die if you don't want to. So I have my pieces. I have the mica stain bow and the silver metallic bow and I'm going to layer the pieces together gluing them so that it looks like the the main what I'm going to call the front side or a side of the ribbon is the mica stain and the b side is the metallic and it just kind of serves to give them a little more depth and dimension. You can save all of those extra pieces and actually create another bow from the contrasting pieces. You could have die cut them, cut them apart and die cut them um, individually. I did not to start with, but I did when I created my second card, but that's going to be all out of the silver glitter, which I'll show you here in a minute. So just gluing all the little parts and pieces together to make this giant bow. It's going to be really, really pretty and eye-catching, I think. I like how it has all of these fun loops and then the little notched ends of the tails. And then we're just going to keep building this. For our long skinny tags, I did go back to my collection and I pulled out the nested tags from Simon Says Stamp. And out of that leftover piece of silver metallic cardstock, I'm going to die cut two silver hole reinforcers for those long skinny sentiment tags. Also from that same piece, I'm going to use the ornament, um, an ornament die to die cut the top of an ornament so that we can make our large circle into an ornament shape. Now that I have my bow assembled, I'm going to put some glue right on the front of my shaker and I'm going to glue that bow down. Look how pretty that looks right on our wreath. I love this. And now I'm just kind of playing around with the components and figuring out how everything is working. I'm going to put a little glue up at the top of each of my tags, which I have cut down. And I'm placing those silver hole reinforcers that I mentioned a minute ago right there. And I'm going to let the glue dry and then take a crocodile and punch a hole through each of these. But look now that we have little bannered tags 
so easy, so quick using those sentiment labels dies. I'm adding the snowflakes to the sentiment strip with a little less text so it adorns it with some fun little embellishment. And then I'm going to take my front of my shaker and I'm going to take the Merry Christmas from the holiday gift giving stamp set and I am going to kind of break it up into two lines of text instead of one line of text. You don't even really have to mask anything off if you're careful. I am going to stamp Merry Christmas right on that acetate cover with cotton white stays on ink. Remember with acetate you do have to use a solvent based ink so that it dries instantly because if you use a regular dye or pigment ink it is never going to dry on the acetate. Then I dye or put pardon me punched holes through my mini tags and I'm going to take the Simon Says Stamp foam adhesive and pull the backing off so that I can manipulate this foam adhesive into a circular shape. You'll notice I'm not butting it up right next to that inside circle. That's so that we don't see the foam adhesive hopefully um, when we are looking through the shaker. And I'm just going to manipulate the foam all the way around. By removing the other side of the adhesive, it makes it very easy to kind of curve so that you can have that nice continuous line of adhesive. That looks good. Now we're going to fill our shaker. I just have a sequin mix here that has like some little stars and sequins, maybe some snowflakes. I don't know. Whatever I had in this little leftover container looked like it matched good. I'm going to line up my front of my shaker and just pop that down in place. So pretty. I love it. I think this would look so nice on an elegant styled tree. Now we need something to hang this tag and for that I want to turn it because our tag is a, sh a round ornament shape. I used this ornament die set from Simon Says Stamp and I die cut it twice from that leftover silver cardstock from the kit. Doesn't even have to be super nice. I'm going to glue them back to back and then I'm going to take a little bit of glue just along that curved edge and we are going to pop that in between the two layers of our ornament and secure it so that just the top of the ornament sticks out from our circles. This is going to be the perfect spot to be able to tie our beautiful ribbon from the kit from. So I'm going to cut a little length of this and thread it through my ornament and we're simply going to knot it up at the top. And I have a special pair of scissors, only for fabric and ribbon, never for paper. And I'm going to knot those. And then I also am gonna take from my stash, I am going to take some silver twine and we're gonna tie the two little mini tags to the ornament hanger, which I'll show you here in a minute. I think that's gonna work the best and look the best. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that little silvery ribbon ornament hanger. Now I'm going to play around with my long tags and figure out how I want to place them on my card. I'm going to take that silver twine I just mentioned. I'm going to thread both of the tags through there. I'm going to tie that right to the top of my gift tag, tie it into a little bow, and that is going to be it for our gift tag. So pretty, so elegant, very, very fun to create, and something you can do a little different with the gift card kit. So yes, this kit is kind of, the idea behind it is to create gift card holders, gift cards uh, to hold gift cards, or cards to hold gift cards, I guess I should say. But you can also create all kinds of other card making, paper crafting type of projects with this kit. I love how that turned out and the shaker of course is beautiful.
So for my second project, we're also going to be creating an elegant gift card holder. And I thought it would be fun to use the little mini envelope in kind of a non-traditional way where we're not going to use it necessarily as the envelope, but more as a design element on the card. So I'm going to place it in my Misty first and take this image from the holiday gift giving stamp set and stamp right over the little vellum envelope again with the cotton white stays on ink because on vellum uh, if you don't want to emboss this is a great way to uh, use something that's going to dry immediately so we've got like the falling snow on the vellum which i love and then there's some white inserts in the kit and i am going to use those to fill the envelope but first we need to decorate it. So I'm gonna be using the Bobbles four by four inch stencils and the gray inks from Simon Says Stamp in flannel, earl, and charcoal. And these match the look and feel that I'm trying to achieve with this kit perfectly. So three colors of ink. First I'm gonna do the base color of my ornaments which is either gonna be flannel or earl, and then I'm going to layer on a darker element using the stencils. So we have three little hanging ornaments on this little gift card. I'm using a magnetic mat to help hold everything down and in place while I work. So next I'm going to grab a layering stencil and I ended up not using this one. I'm going to use the other one instead. So I'm going to start with the swirl design for the ball ornament. I'm going to go back with the earl color over flannel. And then over the earl color we're going to use charcoal. And then finally finishing again with Earl over flannel. I'm gonna take whatever ink is left on my ink blending brush and I'm gonna go around the edges of the panel just to add a tiny, tiny touch of color. I don't wanna add loads of color here. It's more just kind of getting a little color in place. Oh, and I forgot there's a little ornament topper. I'm also gonna add that to the ornaments. So cute. Not that one, I don't think. Let's clean up the ink out of the way. And then take our blending brush and here's where I'm adding just a little bit of color right around the edges so it's not so stark white. But definitely don't want the ornaments to blend into the background too much either. And when you place it in the envelope, look how cute that's going to look. Okay, I still have a couple things I wanna to do to my envelope before I finish. So I am going to stamp the sentiment, you deserve all the nice things down in the lower right corner of this using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink because it's going to show through the vellum really nicely. I wanted to make sure it was something that you could see but it's also going to mute it because it's in the vellum, which I think is really kind of cute and clever. I also want to draw on some ornament hangers for my ornaments so it looks like they're hanging. You could freehand this. I did use a T-square ruler and a black pen so that I could line them up perfectly, but it's not necessary. And the Simon Says Stamp T-Square Ruler is perfect for this. I love this little ruler. It's one of my top favorite tools in my craft space. There we go. Next thing is, I thought I would go ahead and put this in the envelope because I kind of forgot about the little sparkly stars stencil. So we'll come back to that guy here in a minute. I did, I placed my insert back in the envelope and I'm gonna use it as a guide because I do wanna stamp on the envelope itself, get whatever you want. We're gonna stamp that with clear embossing ink and heat emboss with the silver embossing powder. 
on the front of the envelope. Lots and lots of layering going on in just this little teeny tiny envelope space. There's my powder tool. And then of course, we're going to ink up our greeting. Grab our silver embossing powder, and then we will heat set it. Make sure your heat tool is really good and warm before you bring it to the vellum so that it doesn't warp. Perfect. And I lo I'm loving how this looks. I think it's going to be really, really pretty on our card. I'm going to clean my stamp, put it away. And we just have a couple of things left to do. So I want to use this pattern paper. I love the Paper Rose Silver Bells pattern paper from the kit. So I definitely think I want to add another bow. I want to use this wood grain paper and the glitter. But I realized here's the sparkle stencil. So we are going to take that sparkle stencil and I am going to take some silver bells, kind of funny that it's called silver bells, with uh, Picket Fence Studio um, glitter, glitz. And we're just going to place this right through this stencil to create some glittery, sparkly little stars. And I love the texture these provide. You definitely could leave them probably out of the vellum for a little bit more of a showy look, but look how pretty that is. I'm gonna immediately go clean my palette knife and stencil, and then I'm going to assemble the bow. This time I've die cut the bow all from the silver glitter cardstock included in the kit. Now, because there's not enough cardstock in the kit to use as the backer for my marquee die cut, you can see I used the Simon Says Stamp A2 marquee die to die cut my panel, my pa pattern paper panel, and I'm backing it with the glitter cardstock. I die cut the biggest portion of the bow from the center of that background panel. No one is ever going to know, and that way I'm not wasting all of the beautiful glitter cardstock back behind another piece of paper. Then from the rest of the paper, I die cut the layering pieces. So a really great way to make the most of the specialty paper included in the kit. This time, instead of layering everything flat, I'm using foam adhesive squares to layer on anything that goes on top of the big piece there on the back. And this is going to help add to the depth and dimension since we aren't adding um, a contrasting color of paper. I'm gonna put two foam adhesive squares in the center for the center of the bow. And I need to line that up a little bit better. And I'm using the Simon Says Stamp foam adhesive squares for all of my creating here. Once I have that where I want it to go and my stencil or glitter paste is all dry, I can insert my little card with the bobbles and frays back into my envelope and we are gonna secure that to our card. So first in here, you can see where I die cut the main part of the bow from that glitter card stock. I'm gonna put some liquid glue on the back of this panel and glue it down to the glitter card stock. I have found with glitter card stock that liquid glue generally works the best if you don't want it to accidentally pull up. I'm gonna put something heavy on top like an acrylic block to help hold that nice and flat. One of the things I like about that wood grain cardstock is that even though it's very light tone on tone, there's still, still a little of distress to it. I'm gonna glue the envelope right to the center of this panel, almost like it is a gift package. It's kind of how it ended up looking. It wasn't my original plan, but I like it. I'm gonna put some glue on the back of the vellum envelope 
and glue that right in place. Another fun idea would be to take these envelopes and use them as shakers on your card. I think they would make amazing shakers uh, without having to assemble your own. I'm gonna glue the bow to the top and I'm just gonna clamp it down with some reverse tweezers while that glue is drying. Then I'm going to take some more liquid glue and I'm going to secure this whole thing to a white side fold card base, which is gonna have a nice white border all the way around. I think this measures about four by five and a quarter. And finally, I'm going to add some white snowflake embellishments from my stash to my Car, just kind of scattering them throughout the design. And that kind of matches back to the ornament we made a minute ago. The final thing I'm going to do today is take the Merry Christmas sentiment and stamp it with the unicorn white ink on one of the dark gray little gift card pockets included in the kit. I forgot to film that, so I do apologize. I'm going to then take some adhesive and I'm gonna glue this inside of the card because it's gonna provide a great little spot to insert a gift card. So you can very easily not only have a beautiful card, but you can also give a little gift inside. It's a great way to use all of these little parts and pieces and pockets that you get in the kit. So pretty. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this gift tag or ornament and gift card holder featuring the Simon Says Stamp 2022 limited edition gift card kit. The supplies I use to create my projects are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Simon Says Stamp limited edition kits that you might be interested in. I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to my amazing Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below to learn more about it. We would love to have you over there as part of our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making or paper crafting video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.